How's it going, guys? Welcome to Monday's Upload. Today we got a match against uh, Moody Pones, Mots, as some of you may know her. Uh, we had a match previously. I did not upload it because it really didn't go that good, and she really doesn't seem to remember how it went. I do. It was not terrific. But uh, she was like, in that case, you know, we need to have a proper battle. And I was like, you know, grab bagging kind of things. I see her do that a lot. She's like, yeah, sure. So we'll do that. It turned out pretty good. And uh, we'll go ahead and play that back right now. Or wait, no, it froze. Now. Okay, so I kind of lean towards like UU-ish stuff, just kind of in that general area. And then she just literally brought whatever the hell she wanted. Like, I don't, I don't even know what she was thinking when she brought half of this shit. I was like, what are you doing? She's like, grab bag. I was like, all right, you got me. That's kind of a uh, more grab baggy thing. And I brought kind of a more UU thing. But uh, she led with a superior. I led off with a Kabutops, knowing that I can, you know, get the Stealth Rex up regardless. I do see later that this thing is Taunt, so I don't understand why she didn't go for it right there. Um, I guess she really wanted the Reflect up, knowing that uh, she wanted screens to be a top priority, and then she could switch in, you know, according to whatever I had out at the moment. So, uh, I go into Sawsbuck, predicting her, you know, to go for the Grass move in case she only had the, uh, Reflect up. I have seen some superiors that only have just the one screen, but she does have both screens. Decides to go out to Metagross, and um, I can't Swords Dance, and I can't Nature Power. Nature Power turns into Earthquake uh, in fifth gen, which is uh, unfortunate that I'm not allowed to go for it. I mean, it wouldn't really do that much damage with Reflect being up and all that, but uh, I, I got to go out right here, go to my uh, my Togekiss, and I think the air conditioning is being a little loud. I'm, I apologize for that. But uh, she's going to go ahead and set up the Stealth Rocks on the Switch. I know I want to hit this thing on the special side, so that's why I went to it. I end up going for the Flamethrower. Um, does a disappointing amount. I mean, I know screens are up, and that's to be expected, but uh, I don't know. So she ends up uh, tricking me the Iron Ball, which is really unfortunate, because that means now Air Slash has no benefit to it whatsoever. I mean, aside from Stab, it does nothing. I mean, I can't flitch everything, so I'm guaranteed slower than everything with Iron Ball. And uh, with light screen up, I go for the flamethrower again on Melodic. Should have expected her bringing this thing in now. And uh, it does nothing. It's complete, absolute fucking garbage. Like, I don't even... So, uh, I know the only way I'm going to be able to get some momentum back is I need to get my own screens up uh, while hers are down and, you know, just go on the offensive while hers are down. As you can see, the reflect wears off, and I'm going to go for the light screen right here. You know, get both of mine up in the turn that she's going to uh, go out to Superior and get hers up as well. Uh, since the light screen is up, Skull does nothing. I think this is a uh, specially defensive Deoxys as well. So if she goes out to that, I'm going to set up the Reflect. And I do have Toxic on this thing. Toxic and Stealth Rocks are going to be really nice uh, damage on this thing whenever it comes in and decides to try setting up. I haven't seen any form of recovery on this thing. If it does have recovery, it's probably going to be Leech Seed. Uh, but I don't know. I never saw the fourth move on this thing during the entire match. So end up going on to Togekiss. Uh, she does see the Toxic, doesn't want it Toxic, so she goes for the Taunt on that turn. Um, I know Air Slash is kind of useless, but I knew I was going to be slower than this thing anyway. So I might as well just go in. I know she's going to want to set up the Reflect, so any damage I can get on this thing now, I don't want this thing switching in for free, or, you know, just staying in for free, getting screens for free in general. So she's going to go ahead and switch out, go to uh, Melodic on this turn. I did predict the switch to Metagross, so I'm not sure if she predicted me predicting that, or if she just wanted to go out to Melodic and take a special hit. If she did predict me going to Metagross, uh, or predict her going to Metagross uh, and going for the Flamethrower, and she went to Melodic on that, Good on her. That was a really good play. Um, I'm going to go for the Tri-Attack just because it's uh, it's normal. It's Stab. I can't flinch it. Uh, if I can get a Burn or a Freeze, I'll be happy on this thing. I don't want a Para, but I know this is probably one of the best uses of Tri-Attack because I can fish a condition eventually. Um, I don't know when it'll happen, but if I can get Burn or, uh, or Freeze, you know, Freeze just to come in and start setting up Burn just for residual damage. I haven't seen any form of recovery on this thing. I was skeptical as to what kind of set it was. I'd only been seeing Rain Dance and Scald. I do get the burn here, and uh, if she has any form of recovery, she needs to use it now. Um, my screen does wear off, which is unfortunate, but she does rest up, so all that turn of fish, all those turns of fishing for hacks were kind of for nothing. And um, at the very least, I can use this thing to switch fodder later, because it is going to die to rocks. So I don't really mind. Kind of go for the Aura Sphere, predicting the switch to, uh, to Metagross for some reason. Uh, don't really know why I went for Aura Sphere. I knew anything I did was going to do jack shit. So I go out to uh, Manectric, hopefully not going to get hit if she does have a uh, Sleep Talk or if she does decide to switch out. Go for the Sleep Talk, ends up pulling Rest. She doesn't really have the best luck of it with this match. Um, definitely came back to bite her in the ass a little bit. 
But she's going to go out to Metagross, possibly switch fodder, probably expecting to take this a little bit better. Not 100% on this, but um, a T-Bolt's going to take it out. I don't think screens are up at this point in the match, but it's kind of a kind of a moot thing. So, Anyways, uh, Reflect was up, Reflect does wear off. Something that really disappoints me, doesn't really end up mattering too much in the long run. But I learned in this match, uh, in this turn, that my hidden power is not ice. I don't know what I was running, I thought I set it to be ice, but uh, I guess the hidden power calculator uh, I was using... Hey, you know, we're going to tell you it's ice and it's not going to be ice, so she gets a reflect up as well. I'm just like, man, fuck you, that is, that is ridiculous. I could have gotten that thing killed and uh, reflect wouldn't have been up. But at the very, very least, there's a silver lining, and that means it's uh, less turns that light screen is going to be up, so hey. Anyways, she comes in with her Feebas. Uh, I did not what, know what she wanted to do with this, but evidently it's modest, it's specs, it's in the rain, and it cannot kill a poke as frail as a uh, man actually. She really just wanted that thing, um, I don't know, just to try to get a kill, and it ended up being dead weight, which as you can see right now is really, I'm really grateful for, because if I had another poke to deal with besides this Zangoose, I would have been fucked, because uh, she predicts my switch out, you know, predicting me to predict her to go for the quick attack, ends up boosting instead, and I'm like, shit. And the rain is down too, so I don't even get any benefit from Aqua Jet, but all I can do is Aqua Jet, because um, if she, well, if she goes for the close combat, she'll take me out, she's at plus three, and it's super effective, so I have to get some damage in. Zangoose is going to run train with quick attack, close combat, and uh... Shadow Claw, I have no idea in my mind what to do about it other than I need to let this thing run dry with poison damage. And in order to do that, it's, I need to play some mind games or it's going to take out a large portion of my team, you know, just running itself. So I switched to Deoxys, you know, to bait the Shadow Claw. Kind of forgot rocks were up, but this also works as well because it does mean that she still does her attack. I do die to, I do die to self rocks, but uh, she's going to get some more toxic damage up, which is. I need it. I need. I need it pretty bad. So going to Deoxys yet again, who's taking a lot of rocks damage. Just might, may or may not matter a little bit. But then again, it's at plus three, so uh, you'll see in a little bit. Anyways, I switch out. Going to Manetric, who's also pretty much on its last leg as well. Um, gonna die to any hit that Zangus throws at it. So some more toxic damage, desirable. Okay, we'll go with it. <laughs> this thing is just tearing me apart. I I need my Mellow at a safe. So I can hopefully pull things out of the bag. I don't see Sawsbuck getting a lot of use, to be honest, because she does have a Murkrow left. And uh, that thing can definitely run me dry. I don't really have anything that can hit Murkrow too hard. But uh, plus three quick attack. Uh, after some rocks, is easily, you know, going to take me out. Uh, I'm thinking that thing, that thing probably could have taken me out from, like, a healthy 90% as well. That thing is dangerous. So goes for the quick attack again on this thing, knowing that I am naturally faster. And wouldn't you know it, it fucking takes me out. So she's taken out four things with this thing, but it's finally dead. Finally ended. Ugh, oh, what a headache. I was panicking. But her, her reflect is down on the perfect, perfect turn. This means that I'm able to come in with my Meloetta. And uh, she has a Murkrow and a Melodic left, so I don't know how this is going to work out. Uh, if it is going to work out, it's going to be really close. I was really, really scared of the Thunder Wave on this thing. But then again, her Melodic is asleep. And, um... I don't know, her Murkrow's gonna get priority on anything anyway, so if she did have the T-Wave, I wouldn't have really minded it. Um, thinking about it, Toxic just really makes it a lot closer than I need to, since I'm taking Life Orb and Toxic damage. But she goes for the Roost. Thinking about it, I should have gone for the Close Combat. I was kind of panicking at this point, because I was like, this is gonna get really down to the wire. But uh, the game's like, relax, relax, I got you. I know Murkrow's bulky, and that stab and everything is probably not gonna do that much, but we'll give you double for your money, you know. It was free, and you get a crate. So, definitely did end up mattering, definitely probably could have, definitely probably could have, probably could have taken a hit from that range, I want to say definitely, uh, you know, pending investment, and with the Violate, I know from first-hand experience that that thing is a bulky motherfucker. So, in comes Melodic, it is asleep, so Marvel Scale does activate, and it really comes down to what she pulls from Rest Talk, because if she pulls a Scald, then I'm done. But then again, it's only a 33% chance to pull it, and uh, one of the three, she pulls Rest. So. Uh, kind of dodged that bullet there. I don't know how close uh, Toxic Damage is going to run me. We were talking about it in uh, a Skype call. I was like, um, if Toxic Damage applies after I kill you off, then it's going to be a tie. Otherwise, uh, you know, I end up winning healthy. So Life Orb kicks in, but Poison does not. So 
Um, I don't know how that worked in 4th gen, whether or not both of them applied, but uh, Poison doesn't, and that actually ended up saving me the match. I still want to consider it a, a tie, just because of, you know, mechanics and all that. Ended up working out really weird, but ended up working out really good. So I kind of got a little bit of hacks at the end, but... Uh, I don't know, still turned out really good when uploaded either way. So, that'll do it for uh, Monday's upload, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, got the meta podcast, the featured video, if you had not checked out the episode. I know it didn't, probably didn't show up in sub, sub boxes. It didn't really do as good as it normally does uh, this Sunday, or last Sunday. But uh, if you haven't checked it out, go ahead and do that. I'll leave a iTunes link to it as well. Um, we can do that. And uh, that'll do it out of me for today, and I will catch you guys on Wednesday.